In this video, I'll show you how to install Spigit and Juicy Raspberry Pi. For Spigit, first you just Google Spigit MC. So, yeah, Spigit MC, and click download. You want to download this file, buildtools.jar. So I'll just save uh, on my desktop. Uh, actually, let me make a folder. So I'll do all my things in here. So speak it. Actually, let me make two other folder. And the first one is uh, build. This is where we uh, build uh, speak it. And the second one we call server. This is, this is where we want to uh, run our server from. So we move this to build. And uh, next uh, we want to run the run this file. Uh, so we need a command window. So there are several ways. Uh, this is one way. So you press shift, press and hold shift and the right click and open pow uh, PowerShell window here. So you can do it this way. You have Java or you can just do it uh, use a like regular command window. So you just uh, do CMD enter Copy the path. So here we want to. Uh, well, first of all, you make sure you have a uh, Java version eight. Uh, I think version eleven or twelve also uh, works, but uh, I use version eight just to be to be safe. So you do Java jar and then tab. You want to give it a version. Uh, by the time you watch this, it's probably going to be 15 or or something. But uh, right now it's 14. It's one. It's version uh, 1.14.4. I want to give it different version. You can just do like a, a 1.13.2, um, but uh, I'll just use the latest 1.14.4. So it's it's gonna take uh, uh, between five to ten minutes. Uh, if you have a really slow computer, it'll probably take longer, probably up to half hour. Okay, now the build is complete. Uh, it took uh, five minutes exactly. Uh, you can probably skip all this uh, uh, build by just go get the uh, speak it uh, directly. Oh, gee. I think uh, it's called get bucket. Yeah, from this side you can probably download it directly, but I don't know how the, how secure it is. Uh, this download, so I I always build build it myself. So now we want to copy. Uh, you can see there are a lot of files uh, created. 
uh, we are just interested in this file, uh, Spigot. So copy, and we want to paste into this server uh, directory. So we'll rename it as uh, Spigot. And then uh, let's go to we want to create a, a run file uh, a run file is just a, a command that runs spigot so uh, see for Windows and Linux it's all it's just this one line So we want to create a text file called uh, help me just run .bat bat is a Windows uh, batch file so we're gonna paste this in and change uh, 1G to 4G because 1G is too small and uh, if you have a busy server it's uh, one just too small uh, so on the same command we want to go back to want to go to server directory and then just type uh, run and the first time it runs it's uh, it will not run uh, because so you have to agree with uh, EULA so I just need to change this from false to true and uh, you can run again uh, you can disregard this warning I think it's just uh, uh, yeah if I want to get rid of this warning I just type uh, because uh, a code page is 65001 uh, is uh, for UTF-8 so my command windows encoding is UTF-8 if I change it back to uh, like Windows uh, ASCII 2 uh, the warning should, should be should go so you see there's no warning now So now it's started up. It uh, create a uh, three world, 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 nether, uh, and the end. It create all these uh, different files. Now we can start uh, Minecraft. Oh, let me just close this. Because I'm running it locally, so the the server name will be just uh, localhost. Do you want to do multiplayer? I already have it here. Uh, so you see, so it's localhost. Okay, for debug, you want to uh, make yourself make, make yourself uh, op. So I just do op my name. Hence, say the made version of server operator, and then I want to. Do, uh, So that's it. And uh, now we want to download uh, Juicy Raspberry Pi. So you just uh, Google Juicy Raspberry Pi. 
we go to release and download this file juicy raspberry pi jar you want to download it to a server plugins Okay, now it's downloaded. Uh, you want to go to the console in command window, just do a reload. So you see the uh, loading juicer as by enabling juicer. So that means uh, it's uh, it's enabled. Okay, now we want to. Uh, just uh, test uh, the installation. So let's look at the plugin folder. Uh, see, we just drop in this uh, juicy red right jar file, and uh, when we run, uh, when we reload. It create uh, this juicy Raspberry Pi uh, folder. Uh, we can do some uh, like Python debugging in this folder. So I'll open the Python uh, command window. Actually, let me just show you the, the Minecraft. So when I create a man, uh, when I create a, uh, do a Minecraft create and uh, pass it to MC, it, it uh, open the connection. You see, uh, its uh, connection is open. And if you want to get uh, your position, you do a MC player. So this is, is your position. Uh, like, uh, so this is, is, is your uh, x coordinate. Like if I want to uh, make three variable x, y, z, I just do x, y, z equals plus x, y. So x And uh, if I want to uh, spawn and like an uh, entity, uh, let me go back to make sure I face east. So if I press con uh, press F3, uh, you will find uh, where you're facing. So it's west, south, east. Okay. So here's the east. So if I do MC. Uh, Entity uh, because I'm right, I'm at uh, no, I think uh, just to uh, like four, six, into one, forty. I want to spawn a, a donkey. So here's a donkey. If 
I want to s uh, spawn the panda, I do mc spawn entity. If I want want this panda to move away from me, I just do a panda set pass set pass stand for set position to like uh, uh, like more east. More east means uh, it's uh, like po po more positive. So I do ten. So you see the panda is. Uh, uh, move away from me. If I want to move it closer to uh, like uh, negative four, so it's move closer to me. Oh, it's not. Yeah. I can also uh, like a set block. Okay, that's uh, that's it. In the next video, I'll show you how to uh, use uh, a command command server.